In the last episode, we arrived to Porto Santo, a small island belonging to the Madeiran archipelago. The south side of the island has a nine kilometer long beach, and there's also where the main village is located. The main village is very small, but has a very picturesque town square and surroundings. One thing that's really good about this square is that they have free internet. I don't know about my dreams. Supposedly, it's a Columbus old garden down here in his house. Nowadays, it's a museum and uh, yeah, the story goes that uh, Columbus uh, married the governor's wife, or <laughs> not the governor's wife, but uh, his daughter, and lived there for some years. I don't know about my love. <laughs> top of the marina and I look at place and as you can see the marina is uh, rather small the beach is really nice at the moment I think it's, I think it's high tide so the beach isn't very wide but uh, it's really beautiful unfortunately it's uh, not very sunny today Southern part of the island at the um, Mirador, what they call it. Thank you. Now we're gonna drive to a hidden beach that is around the corner here. Finally the sun. And this is not a moped, it's a motorcycle. Okay. 125 cc. <laughs> As the sun came out, the temperature rise, and we ended the day on the beach.
moment we were at the top of Pico de Castello. Mm -hmm. 500 and something meters over sea level, close to 600 I think. It's cloudy so we can't see anything. <laughs> so the walk up here was a bit in vain. <laughs> and we've been away for uh, four months, more than four months now. Yeah, and time flies. Uh, no, not really. That's the thing when you're sailing and traveling like this. I think, I mean, when you're back home working, mm -hmm. one mo month is like Nothing. that. You know, it's it feels like it could have been one year since we left Sweden. Yeah. But it's only four months. Yeah. So the time is, you get more quality time. making a painting, if you can call it that, uh, a mark for our visit here at Porto Santo in the marina. <coughs> in some marinas uh, it's a tradition to leave your mark before you depart again, so of course we also need to do that. So what do you think about it? I think it's good. I'm just making a circle. Not the most beautiful one, but uh, we have done it, so I guess that's the most the important part that you do, that you do one. <laughs> yeah, it took a lot of hours <laughs> yeah. and it's not perfect, we're no artists, but we left our mark on Porto Santo. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be here forever. Yeah. I don't and think so. Probably nice somebody will paint it over in a year or two, but... Uh. <laughs> nice we decided to spend the last days on the island on Anchorage. So we went out of the marina to pick our anchoring spot along the long beach. Peace. 
Porto Santo from Madeira. sales up finally I had a snag with some of the lines <laughs> it's always like that when you haven't uh, been sailing for a while so now we're finally on our way it's about 25 nautical miles to um, Quinta de Lourdes and uh, uh, we're uh, making some breakfast out the fishing fishing rod for the first time and yeah the fishing line is hanging there after the boat so far nothing huh so far nothing it feels so strange thinking that four four months ago we were sitting here with those flotation suits uh, four layers or five layers of clothes underneath we have these jackets with uh, uh, heat inside because it was so cold when we were sailing in the North Sea and the English Channel and now four months later sitting in t-shirt shorts sun is shining 20 degrees in the water so we made some progress I think we can say that right Here, some of the video when we're filming, we have developed some uh, some play in our Cobra linkage for the steering. It's uh, very annoying, especially at night when you try to sleep, <coughs> because yes, you, when the autopilot goes back and forth, the linkage underneath here, it's uh, yeah, there's too much play in it. It makes a clunking sound every time, like you hear there. And uh, yeah, we need to get that sorted out. So that's the plan after Madeira. It's not an issue, I mean, uh, it won't break or anything, it's just annoying the sound it makes. Uh, and I guess it's in the, in the long run, I guess it's not very good for the, for the gears and the Cobra steering in here as well. But it's only 270 miles left to Las Palmas, so it won't be a big problem. Looking out at the water, searching for animals. Have you seen any? No. Taking it in. Yeah, I'm taking it in. I think we go too slow. But I'm not the next one. So what do I know?
Hi guys, thanks for watching episode 15. Hope you liked it and uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it helps us a lot. Stay tuned for the next episode where we explore the beautiful island of Madeira. And if you want to support the making of these videos, you can join our Patreon crew. Bye bye! bye. bye.